is dead. We got this fresh off the press just Friday of last week. A deranged fringe movement. What is MAGA communism, the online ideology platformed by Tucker Carlson? This is a huge list <laughs> of characters here. You now, already- I'm not going to lie. I did not expect a corporate press hit piece on Jackson Hinkle and Infrared on my bingo card. Yeah, that another 2024 bingo cards are just rot, you know. <clears throat> Two young men are promoting a. Gr- oh my god! This is hold so- on. Let's. Oh my god! They wrote like a Tolkien novel about these motherfuckers. Why is it so? Two young men promoting a grab bag ideology, celebrating honor and condemning global elites. The last few years, self-styled political <clears throat> movement sound like a contradiction in terms of gained ground online. This has been around for months, like a year now. But like they just won't let it die. It won't. No, it's it's the thing is it's gaining. It's like look at the numbers. Look at the numbers anywhere. The shit is gaining traction. I don't know how they're doing it, but it's like it's it's popping off. I mean, shit. Hinkle's like, I'm not gonna lie. Like a lot of the synthetic left online, they have permanent Hinkle derangement syndrome. They've they've even like made up those like childish like high school names. They call them like Stinkle. You know how these, like, lived-up fucking LARPers always have these, like, goofy little childish names for all their, like, people who don't, like, check off every mark on their fucking reactionary checklist? But, yeah, like, holy fuck. It's it's as bad as Door at this point, I think. Like, Hinkle's right up there. Because remember the Rage Against the War Machine rally? After, uh... After Ritter got off the menu, they all moved on to Hinkle. They're like, we can't share space with Hinkle. We'd rather get blown into oblivion because we're serious about being revolutionary. Yeah, Cole Pink did that. I remember that. I remember that. Fuck and that all because of, like he, because I feel like he plays a specific role. It's supposed to be like a, like a, like a defaming kind of character. Like if you, if you're able to like place very stupid prominent people at the forefront of you know whatever movement you have um you know then then you can you know point the finger and be like hey this entire group of people you know communists are you know dumbasses or tankies or you know whatever the fuck uh i I mean i even i used to like hinkle for a while but um i don't here's the thing i'm pretty sure he's getting paid by like some other countries uh, i'm not sure but um here's the thing i don't like or dislike hankel i i I acknowledge that that he's a year younger than me yeah so they they, both of these i'm 28 these kids are younger than me yeah dude like i don't like or dislike jackson hankel i he's a 24 year old like i'm sorry i i remember my takes at 24 years old too he might end up being like one of the best allies we have. We don't fucking know. But at 24, I was I was a shit lib at 24. Crab, I was a shit lib. I I voted for Trudeau, my dude. Okay, that's how that's how down bad I was. I was like, that was back when I thought the hall. Like? That's back when I thought the hall of more was <laughs> back when I. That's not what I believe Red Scare propaganda, okay? That's what I believe all the McCarthy I'm like, no hole in a more we I, was so bad. I wasn't a liberal until twenty I was a liberal until twenty twenty. Well yeah, and the thing is the like, thing is the, I can't in like the in like the you know, whatever sense. Yeah, and people need to understand, like, we're all kind of getting there at our own pace, but like for context, like, Haz used to be a Bernie bro. I know that for a fact. He mentioned it on one of his streams one time. So, I mean, yeah. Well, let's see. A, a belief in the power of Donald Trump's followers to rest power. I just don't think, like, I, I mean, I don't, even, I don't even feel super obligated to speak on, like, a lot of these topics imagine like being this young and then like having all these like all this prominence that you're being like slammed in the mainstream media uh don't worry about it bro once you get to like around your mid to late 30s uh you just know everything and you beat everyone and you're smarter 
Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's so. what I'm, I'm. I'm like, I'm like, what is it? Like, I don't like, I don't even understand if like I'm fully like. I mean, it feels like I understand. Like, I understand. Um, I don't. I have my like my certain yeah. idea about things and how the world really works. But like, you know, I still learn things. Um, well, and, here's the thing: your brain. Uh, someone feel free to fact check me on this, but. Um, 20, I think I heard 25 three, fully develops. Yeah. Yeah, your brain isn't fully developed until until 25. So until 25, I'm I'm kind of giving I'm going to give Jackson a pass just because like I'm not going to judge someone before the brain's fully developed cuz I was an idiot in my early 20s. Um and I'm not going to lie, he does a lot of good coverage and you know, he speaks he speaks for a lot of the same things that I speak for. He's He's out there, you know, carrying water for Palestine, getting shit on by like half his base for doing so. I can respect that. Um, yeah, this shit. Um, we'll get into it, but uh, I, I, I just don't get it. I've tried so hard to get it. I just don't get what they're doing. I'm sorry. Hinkle and Aldin have been ridiculed by critics. Is he Syrian? I forgot what he is. He's Lebanese. I think. Uh, Inkle and Aldin have been ridiculed as critics as pseudo intellectual, cravenly opportunistic grifters who have carved out an intentionally provocative niche designed to siphon followers away from other highly online political communities. I'm sorry, that's the most liberal fucking paragraph in the history of paragraphs. I know, but like it kind of like, but like it, it don't don't you don't you think it's worded like kind of well? For like what it what it actually is, like I mean, it's uh, scripted. It's totally like could no, be that. You know, I mean, that, I'm not gonna lie. Like, like, like whenever you talk about like being against this, and we're gonna we're, we're gonna show more <clears throat> to make the case. Um, you 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 kind of get like bundled in with all these liberals who are who are saying stuff like this. Yeah, and the thing is, like, it could also just be like a sheepdog op, right? Because it's like, well, how do we get more people to, like, move move towards the right? Well, why don't we get people who would identify as far left to come over to the right? Because the one thing I want to ask, the one thing I want to fucking ask all these people, because this is a defining moment. Who are you voting for? Who are these two people going to tell you to vote for when election season comes? Because if they're going... Because I will be honest, they both carry massive water for China. They're bigger China, China Sims than I am. And I'm a huge fucking... I, I, I'm unapologetically a China Sim. I think... Or maybe I, I just like... There. I could see why people would be... But like... If... If if when election time comes, these guys are telling you to vote for Donnie, even though Donnie is very staunchly anti-Trump, and I know Haas for uh, Haas defends China all day, my dude. He he fiercely defends it. So at the end of the day, if these two guys are going to tell you to vote for Donnie in November, who's very staunchly anti-China, very staunchly anti-communist, then we'll know for sure what all of this movement was about. Right. I could be wrong. I, like I said, I'm still. It's not like I'm, the idea is is like um, malicious in any way. I think the idea itself is like kind of, you, you, you know, I, I think you could on its on its face on paper. I just think the messaging and the way it's being framed. Trump is far from any sort of figurehead to be leading this kind of movement i think it's a 24 year old idea like it's exactly it's what it is that's i'll be honest if i was 24 years old i could have come up with a shit easily easily i would i could have come up with something worse at 3 a.m i could have yeah. wrote a sub stack about why trump is actually a communist yeah and people would never take me seriously yeah but it's like <laughs> Both and positive it's like, people say that the support. Sorry. No, it's okay. 
Okay. Um, the, the support for Trump, not for admiration for the man, but out of the belief that his followers represent a most significant mobilization of the American working class in decades. Hold on. There's a, there's a, there's I, here's there's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm not sure if I disagree with that. I I'm going to be honest. I'm not sure if I disagree with that. Because that is way less reactionary than anything we've seen out of not only liberals, but progressives and even a lot of like online socialists. They're, they want change more than the other side that is just comfy and they just want more of the same. They want more of Obama. They want more of the continuation of Obama's shit. They're happy and comfy. They don't care or they're too brainwashed to realize how fucking miserable they are. Either way, these are the people who are saying like, yeah, we want to change. We want to, we want to, you know, we want to like not take our country back. Cause I don't think there's anything. I mean, take your country back. You're going to have to give all your shit back to indigenous people and go back to Europe. Okay. Thank you. But, um, like, you know they 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 see the they see the problems. They just don't understand that the person you're voting for is in bed with them and never going to do anything about those problems ever, ever. I don't fucking care. He's never going to do anything about them. Of course, they're trying to they're trying to throw out the the anti trans sphere smear. Yeah, He's because welcome to conservative in a way that appeals to the growing number of Gen Z males who believe feminism is harmful to men and cast issues as transgender rights, the climate crisis, racial justice, as neoliberal distractions. I mean, I love this. <laughs> we need to protect our youth from trans terrorists and propagandists. Did he really fucking say that? <laughs> what? <gasps> this shit's re- that's, that, he's a character. He's a fucking character, this man. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Like, even <laughs> I've even I vo- voice my own grievances with like certain elements of like the the elements of predatory capitalism within trans issues, like the whole like. I don't know, these weirdo leftists online who are like obsessed with like the putting the kids on drugs shit. I find that to be fucking weird, but really like, why do you care? Why do you care? Why the fuck do you care? Okay. Is it good? Are you going to die if you call someone like by the pronouns they want? No. Are you going to die by just letting people live the way they want to live? No. Like, fuck. Just like, stop with this. Um... Yo, go up for a bit. Go up for a sec, though. <laughs> They're firmly embedded in a corner of social media that is the most vitriolic, terminally online troll culture. Where do you see that? Reed Ross, right above Haas's head. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think he. I feel. I feel like this guy just called all of us out. Like, what the fuck? That just. <laughs> <that's so laughs> like, we're, all, we're, all, we're all terminally <laughs> online trolls. This is bullshit. I'm suing. Polling has indicated that members of Gen Z, even Gen Z Republican voters, are open more socialist ideas. In a video to the busking market communism last year. Oh shit, my man Richard is about to lay the hammer down. It's over. Marxist it's over. Richard Wolf noted that there's a press of international movements co opting communists. <clears throat> yeah, so we're going to play that. I think there's just a background on them now. Oh my god, they wrote a novel. Now, now COVID. They wrote a fucking essay on these two. And um Yeah. I think we should like so let's let's play the we'll, we'll play the professor wolf clip. <clears throat> Because what he has to say here is pretty uh, profound. Or not Shot sure. chaser. No. Yeah. Oh my god, it's good. This is Richard Wolf from Democracy at Work. Like, like, so just because the Guardian cited him, um, doesn't mean that he's wrong. Uh, Wolf is based. He knows what he's talking about. 
responding to another Ask Prof Wolf question from our Patreon community. And this question comes from Carl. And Carl refers us to a recent appearance on a right-wing show, a talk show, uh, on television or a podcast, in which uh, a supporter of Donald Trump's MAGA movement, Make America Great Again, refers to something called MAGA communism, and even identifies himself in the conversation as, matter-of-factly, oh yes, I am a communist. And what Carl wants to know, is there some redefinition, some change going on in communism that might make it somehow a partner of right-wing, fascistic, or other right-side-of-the-aisle uh, movements? Uh, so let me respond, and I'm going to do it historically so you can see the point I'm trying to make in that way. Throughout history, every time that socialism or communism have come back into the political arena, and I should mention to you all that they have been pronounced dead and gone and over with over and over again. I'm often reminded of the famous letter Mark Twain sent to the Hartford Current newspaper in Connecticut where he lived. After reading his own obituary in that day's paper, he wrote to the editor, reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Uh, the reports of the death of socialism and communism have been exaggerated by people who wished they had disappeared, wished they were gone from the historical agenda, but it has never been the case, and it isn't that now either. So what's going on? Oh. Answer is, if you're a political movement and you want to get supporters at a time when socialism is attracting more and more interest, well, you might be tempted to grab hold at least of the name. And I'm going to give you some examples of how that has happened. Probably the most important example is the one of Adolf Hitler in Germany. Hitler tried to build a movement in the 1920s in Germany. But the problem for Hitler was during the 1920s, what happened to Germany was a major reaction to having lost <coughs> World War I, which traumatized the German people. Likewise, traumatizing them was the worst inflation any modern capitalist economy has ever seen up until that point. 1923, the value of the German Deutschmark uh, collapsed, basically, to next to nothing. And the 50 years of scrupulously accumulated savings by the German working class, a very frugal, savings-oriented working class, all of that was reduced to nothing. All that money they had squirreled away in an account couldn't buy you a quarter pound of butter. And these two events traumatized them, and then came the Great Depression of 1929, and it took them over the hill. But through the whole 20s, what was alive and creative in Germany was socialism. It was what replaced the defeated, discredited German aristocracy. Kaiser Wilhelm, the emperor of Germany, until the defeat of that country in World War I. So the socialists were everywhere. Music, art, culture, politics, the socialism, socialism. And Mr. Hitler made the decision that to build up his movement, even though it was the opposite of socialism, Hitler hated the Soviet Union, which is where socialism had won the governmental power in 1917. He hated the left. He hated socialism, had oh, fought against ironic. it, had been involved in violent efforts against it. But he knew that to build a movement, he had to somehow tap into it. So he chose as the name for his political party the National Socialist <clears throat> German Workers' Party. That was the full name of his party, because the first word, nationalist, in German is national, and the first four letters are N-A-Z-I. That's why it's called the Nazi Party. This is this is ultimately the problem when you talk, because ultimately when you, like what he's saying here, is so MAGA in and of itself is more so... I think the correlation here is kind of like a nationalist type movement, like a sort of like pro America uh, kind of concept. Um, and the the pro like really like the that that's how really how like these right wing like uh, ideologues pop up is through this like severe like isolationist kind of i mean it's not like i didn't necessarily disagree with a lot of that um here's the thing <clears throat> here's the thing um 
this is one of the core tenets of fascism, okay? They always present a great enemy that they need to defeat, and it's always, always, always at times when a civilization is desperate. Desperate. Desperate as fuck for, like, any kind of alternative whatsoever. And then someone comes in, they correctly point out the problems, like Trump did. He did do that. He pointed out the deep state. The deep state's a problem. Pointed out all the corruption in the Senate. The Senate's a problem. Oh, he just says it out in the open. He just says shit. Like, we're just, like, in the intro, it's like, we're in in Syria for the oil. We're in Syria for the oil. That's what it's. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he, he, he points out the problems correctly. And then he paints himself as a savior. And everybody latches on to him. And all the MAGA people out there, I just got to ask you, what the fuck did he do? He had four whole fucking years. What did he do? He didn't do shit. He broke Obama's record for drone strikes. That's what he did. The biggest cope MAGA people have is he didn't start any new wars. It's like, like what do you mean didn't start any that? new wars? How low is your, how low is your fucking bar? In general. He expanded the swamp. About that. He expanded the swamp. Okay. He 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 did uh, huge favors for his pals on Wall Street. He he warp speed the vax. Yeah. So uh, all you MAGA people, I don't get what you're doing there. He's still proud of that shit. He's still, He's still proud of the reason. Hey. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. He he made a post on Truth Social about the about something about being you know about the vaccine you know being you know <laughs> taking credit for like oh my vaccine. Yeah, I don't get why. Why like he loves it? Nobody. It. How can He's none of them spot the contradictions here? How do you reconcile that? Like, he didn't do shit for four years, and everybody's like, "Oh no, give him four more years, and he'll, you know, then he'll make it all right." And I, I'm just sitting here. I'm like, y'all sound like liberals. <clears throat> you guys just sound like liberals. I just Go back to your early point. This this is at the Libertarian Convention. This is a libertarian who believes that MAGA <laughs> is socialism, and he's against it. So if we if we so if we do MAGA communism, the libertarians are fundamentally against that. You wait, lose the, that, all the libertarian. Oh, you lose all the anti-war libertarians when you do this. Wait, That's you mean if we do MAGA communism, we're going to piss off libertarians? Shit. Yeah, look, look. Okay, we got to do MAGA communism. I'm sorry, man. I reckon it looks like a combination between Rasputin and Vladimir Lenin. Weird. Yeah, like what is going on there? I guess these are liber- this is libertarians, man. I don't know. I think they just like sit and smell. This is like the weirdest reverse Uno. They're just like, yeah, MAGA's communism and it's a bad thing. Ah, like, what the fuck? The dude's talking about deporting socialists from the country. He's talking about like making up a new law. Fuck. Oh my God. Yeah, I mean, dude. Let's finish this. Uh, Video. But the fact that Mr. Hitler took the name socialist fooled very few people in Germany. It didn't make much difference. And the very people he began working with who were interested in socialism were ejected from the Nazi party, often with violence in the years uh, later on in the 1920s. So don't be fooled by MAGA communism. Yes, it's a clever putting together of things that don't fit. It will get you some attention for a while. But there's nothing in Mr. Trump or the MAGA movement that is anything other than fundamentally hostile to almost everything that socialism has meant or could mean. If discussions like this clarify issues for you, and we hope they do, and that's why we make them, then please partner with us. That's the mic drop. But yeah, and this is gonna, this just got it. Yeah, that's a chaser right here. 
I will order my government to deny entry to all communists and all Marxists. Today, I'm announcing a new plan to protect the integrity of our immigration system. Federal law prohibits the entry of communists and totalitarians <laughs> into the United States. What are we doing? But my question is, what do we do with the ones that are already here? That grew up in? I think we have to pass a new law for them. So we're going to keep foreign Christian hating communists. Mar- Suddenly, communists are Christian hating. I know so many Christian communists. I mean, okay, but here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. They just get that from that one quote from Marx. You know which one. Religion is the opiate of the masses. That one. They don't understand the context of that quote. Insofar as Marx was discussing correctly that people turn to religion because of the alienation and ills of living under the capitalist system. That's he was saying. Here's why pe- religion is appealing to people. He wasn't like, "Oh, I hate religion, me, me, me." But they just they just see opiate in the masses, and they're like, "Oh, he's atheist." Yeah. Marxist and socialist out of America. We're keeping them out of America. So I, I, you know, good luck. Good luck. Yeah, like here's. <clears throat> I'll be the first one to say this is a good idea on paper. Like I said before, you should be reaching out and meeting people where they are because I'm sorry. There's a lot of fucking purity testers out there on the internet. And I just got to say, like you are, you are exactly the people that Lenin was bitching about in that pamphlet. These weird purity testers who only want to like organize with their three other, like, super fucking Marxist Maoist uh, bro. You're never going to get anything done. And I think, you know, that that's why I think so much of the online left is an op because like, this is a record tactic. <clears throat> so I get it. I get meeting people where they are and I've done it myself. I do it all the time. I do it at bars for fuck's sake. Um, <clears throat> so I get the point that you're going after the working class base that you think you can galvanize. But the biggest contradiction is you're coming to them with communism and the dude that they're following and going to vote for is saying rhetoric like this. That's what I don't get. It's like, how do you how do you reconcile those two things? Because you're essentially asking them to go against their their fucking dear leader here. So, like, how do you like, how do you get how do you get people on board? What do you do? Do you say Trump's wrong? Do you say that like, oh, he's just he's he, he's memeing? He, he he said JK after this interview. I just I don't get what something to, I don't get like I don't I don't get what they're trying to do. Like, how do you I just don't understand how you navigate this massive contradiction of like this whole base of people is being told by him that these people are bad and you're coming to try and get them on your side, even though you're identified as one of the people he's saying are bad. And also on the other side of the aisle, you're going to trigger every single liberal automatically. <clears throat> Not like it matters, obviously, because like liberals will always side with fascists against revolutionaries. Always. They will always side with the status quo. So these are useless allies anyway, but you're going to trigger all the liberals. Cause the second you type, you, the second you say MAGA, they're going to, the TDS is going to get activated. They're going to start frothing at the mouth and like crying. They're going to fill their adult, like, Starbucks diapers and shit. So like, you're going to put everybody off with this. Like, I just don't understand how you can reconcile these two things together. And furthermore, I think this is a huge missed opportunity because if you just called your movement, like the workers movement or like the people first movement, anything that just focuses on the working class first and not these like goofy pro what wrestling, like partisan, like, uh, like camps, or even maybe focused on the massive, like, non-voter population that we have. These people who, I've talked to a lot of them, have given up on politics because they produce no material results for them. Um, you know, like, like, fuck, it's just like, you're, ugh. 
It's a 24 year old idea. I'll just, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I think I, I, so I, I really think it's a little bit enlightening. Uh, this is like originally all the way a year ago. It was a fucking year ago. But pasta came at this in like a very uh, intellectual and honest way. And he's seen on the ground a lot, um, certainly a lot more than me. So like I trust his experience. I don't trust Jackson's. Um, last time, last time I saw Jackson out in public, he was like hitting on girls in the White House Capitol before getting arrested. Yeah, because he's twenty four. Like that's what a twenty four year old, twenty four year old supposed to do. Yes, but you're not supposed to be leading a fucking movement, my guy. Get some life. Ex- you know what? I've said this before, but you know who Jackson Hinkle's biggest critic critic is going to be. Jackson Hinkle at age 30. I'm calling yeah. that. Yeah. He's, <clears throat> unless you get. He's going to look back and be like, holy fuck, I was cringe. Sorry. I'm God sure. Damn. I, I did. I look back on 24 year old me and I'm like, I, I want to punch him in the face. Do you have a time machine? I want to punch that guy. He sucks. Like <laughs> we all grow. We all evolve. But like, man, at 24, like. Anyway, yeah, Pasta, I will go on record as saying that I firmly think Pasta is one of the best interviewers out there. He's on my top five, easily. He's, he never has a bias. He always comes Craig. at it just matter of fact, and he's, he's not. He's, he doesn't, we should invite him on one day. Yeah, I'm just, down. I am fucking down, my guy. Uh, Pasta, now, um, what do you? Wh- what are your feelings about MAGA communism? Well, first off, I want to say that I don't think it's disingenuous. I just think it's completely wrong. You know, I I go to a lot of uh, election integrity events, and right now those are filled with MAGA people out there because they feel they were, you know. Uh, done wrong in the last election. So that is why uh, I I get to speak with a lot of MAGA people. Uh, And it's just diametrically opposed to each other. When you go to these events and you hear a lot of MAGA people, nine times out of 10, their number one enemy is communism. They'll say it all the time. Oh, Marxism, communism, that's the problem. Even more than China, even more than Bill Gates and our good buddy over there, uh, Jeff Bezos or any type of oligarch. This is the thing they fear most. And at the end of the day, they feel that Marxism, and I honestly feel that a lot of communists in the United States, people who call themselves communists, I believe they're mostly cappuccino communists, I call them that. I don't think they really understand what communism is like Jackson does and some of our friends who've probably read about theory and, and angles and all these other people. But they feel that it's a complete opposite of what they're trying to achieve. They are capitalists through and through. They believe in choice and they believe that Marxism and communism is the exact opposite. So when you are around MAGA people, you'll you'll know right off the bat. You know, I kind of uh, sent a friend a link today saying that I'm going to be on uh, Jimmy Dore with my good friend uh, Jackson Hinkle and we're going to be talking about MAGA communism. And they were like, what the heck is that? You know, they've never heard about it before. Uh, so, number one, I don't think it exists at all. Number two, uh, yeah. even though we are desperate for some type of unity with the working class, we need... It's literally an online fringe thing. No one knows what fucking market communism is. It, the it's like, only no, it's no. only popular with all of us terminally online losers. That's I'm it. sorry. That's, See, it's, people. that's it. Just all of us terminally online idiots who are just like shit posting all day. We we could write a novel about it and then nobody would buy the novel because they're busy touching grass and they don't fucking get any of this shit. <laughs> and like, no one fucking cares. It's stupid. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I can't be as polite as pasta. This is just fucking stupid. What is this? Nobody. What I appreciate is he gets it right off the bat. That's the same thing I said. It's like. Yeah, I get it. We're all desperate for unity with like working class solidarity. Totally get it. Because we're divided as fuck. Nobody can organize over anything because they're fighting over these 8 million cultural things that, you know, the corporate press is just pumping out at us, which I think is absolutely deliberate. They want us fighting all day over trans people. I, I'll say it. I'll say it right here. That's nothing. Nothing benefits the bourgeoisie more than than us fighting over trans stuff 24 hours a day forever un- until they all kill us and they're gonna kill us they're gonna kill us yeah. eventually okay sorry guys they're gonna fucking kill us 
That's so but one of us gets the last word over bathrooms before before we get a uh, we get clipped in the head. I'm sure a lot more people would be would benefit a lot more from universal health care rather than you know trans uh, trans abortion bans and trans surgery bans. You know, as much as I, I disagree with the with certain things or like ha, you know eat, it doesn't affect anyone in like oh any sort of broad way i mean if we all get together and organize you know maybe a lot of these trans people could get free gender affirming care there's trans camp comrades i mean the, the, i don't judge it especially if you're like a full-ass adult i guess you know it's not you know, you know it's not my business i don't give a shit um no it's just it's like, like the problem i can see where it, that can kind of be a problem if it's like you know under the age of 18 um so that's where like you know debate can be had but and i think that's healthy but it shouldn't be the main discourse of a fucking collapsing society yeah and it's the thing that, that bugs me too they're attaching i I, th- I fully believe this is not they attach that issue to every single other issue it's it's yeah, like it's mind Palestine, blowing. The Palestine thing. Palestine. Like, you, we can't yeah. organize with anybody on Palestine unless they tick all of these boxes. And the most contentious box, the one they all flip out over, is the kids thing. And all of a sudden, you're a Hitler. You're a blah blah blah. And it's like, what the fuck are you doing? You're just doing wrecker shit. Why does everybody just attach this issue to all the other issues? Just talk about the other issues. Holy fucking shit can't focus on one thing at a time fucking adhd society that's where we're at Wait, if you had socialism wait. these people would get this shit for free i don't know if you guys are aware of this but gender affirming care because i've looked it up because i care about these people <clears throat> costs up to a hundred thousand dollars in the states even up here in canada it's like ten thousand dollars i want to fight i want to organize so those people get it for free not go into like endless forever debt just because they need something, a medical procedure that is going to help them live their best life. I want to fight for that. But if we're always fighting over these fucking wedge issues, that shit is never going to happen. So, anyway. You know, I you put, guys say it all the time. You know, when you're away. building a coalition of working class people, you don't ask who's a communist, who's a Marxist, who's a capitalist, who's a Trump supporter, who's a Democrat, who's a Republican. Labels only separate us. It's when we remove the labels and come together on our common yep. goals and the working class and our economic struggles, then we can bring it together. This, to me, is just something that can be used to weaponize and divide us even more. Um, so even though we are desperate some, for some form of coalition, I just think this whole thing is just definitely non-existent and it is a way of separating us even further. Um, so Jackson, what do you say to that? I think those are some good points, but at the end of the day, I think that the MAGA communism hashtag or trend, whatever is actually breaking down the labels further. It's like, it's so, it's so chaotic. It's so in your face that when people question it and they begin to discuss it, and I've done that today, I was on one America news network. I never thought in my life I've ever, I've ever be on like a broadcast like that. And I was talking to the host. And we were actually able to break down, you know, what it is that we all agree on. And he was like, wow, I I think that we actually agree on a lot of the things that we're talking about here. Uh, And through these conversations and through highlighting the contradictions that don't align between left and right in America, but between the top and the bottom, uh, we're able to further come together and actually begin to address these issues. Um, I think that you're 100 percent right that. We need to focus on the issues, but the idea behind MAGA communism is focusing on the issues at hand, and it's not an effort to divide anybody or anything like that. And the whole idea is to unite Marxists with MAGA, and I think it's working quite well. It's starting a lot of really big conversations, and um, at least in the online community I've seen, a lot of MAGA people coming together with Marxists and saying, we actually agree on more than we disagree on. Uh, and maybe people didn't previously see this. So I, I think it's a beautiful thing. So people uh, conflate, I think, Marxism with the Russia style communism, um, which wasn't really pure communism. It just became authoritarianism. So I think when you hear when you hear people say things like, uh, oh, they're like when you hear them say, oh, Trudeau is can communist, I just, right? Can yes. I just say something? Yeah, yeah. 
it breaks my fucking heart to see this man regurgitate McCarthy. I fucking uh, every time every time he talks about this shit, I just I have to turn it off. It, it's too heartbreaking. It's uh, let me. Uh, I hate to play it again, but I, I hate to hear that. Um, which wasn't really pure communism. It just became authoritarianism. So I think when you with the Russia style communism, um, which wasn't really pure communism it just became authoritarianism so i think when you hear when you hear people say things like uh, oh they're like when you hear them say oh trudeau is communist right yes. yes they don't they don't mean he's communist they mean he's an authoritarian because we were told we were brought up my whole life in the united right. states that communism equaled authoritarianism and so i think people conflate authoritarianism with communism and that's why people who call themselves or consider themselves conservative or right wing would, would, would have a, uh, an allergic reaction to the term communism. And I don't think Marxism and communism are the same thing. Right. I mean, uh, Marxism wasn't. How do you define communism, Jackson? They're the same oh. thing. They're the same. Hold on. No, no. I have to hear this. I have to hear this because I've never heard this before. I've never heard this before. And I don't think Marxism and communism are the same thing, right? I mean, uh, Marxism wasn't – how do you define communism? Yeah, so uh, Jimmy's, Jimmy's pretty um, uneducated. I don't blame him. He's a stand-up comedian. Whatever. Uh, you know, God bless him. Communism, Dude. Jackson. They're the same thing. They're the same thing. I feel like in America, though, they these terms have been bastardized in different ways. So – you know, socialism means one thing to a lot of people. Communism might mean one thing to a lot of people, but they mean the same thing. Uh, if you actually read the text, they mean the same thing. But what I think that we need to focus on is how communism translates into uh, the material reality of our country. Uh, we can take things, and I discussed this with the conservative on OAN today, we can take things like the pro-industrial mindset, uh, pro-growth mindset from China and from the Soviet Union, while still recognizing that we have many cultural disagreements and disagreements based upon governance with these two models, take the good things from the communists there, apply it to America while respecting the rich history of labor struggles and progressive history that we have in this country, and fighting for you know more growth, more industrialization, more wealth for all. At the at the end of the day, that's what it is. It's we we want people to have more health we, or wealth. We want to lift the masses from their knees. Yeah. And, and I, I agree with that, but I do still think that when you do equate this whole MAGA and communism situation, you're actually just kind of separating those, that, that particular bond can be together because the MAGA people are hardcore capitalists. And I, and I also want to point out that I think that we, we can't leave out the fact, Jackson, and I think you'll agree to as well, is that a lot of people who call themselves communists in the United States and most of the MAGA people, they kind of equate the Marxism with a campus Marxism with, you know, with this kind of like culture wars that was came along way after Marx was gone. And that is a very divisive tactic. So therefore they, they can't get away from that. Uh, I do agree that we do need to have more discussions about what people want, because I don't think the communists in this country really are full blown communists. I believe they are more about a labor movement, a working movement, and that's what they want. And that's what we need to focus on. Anytime we bring this in this, this MAGA and communism, it's just something that's completely diametrically opposed. You know? So another thing I noticed, so this is before October 7th. So yep. notice how notice how everyone on the right that was you know, pro, uh, I guess, like, you know, like anti-Ukraine, you know, seemingly like anti-war and flipped on a dime, like nothing. <clears throat> of course it did. Israel. Because and most of them, if you most of them, if you consider yourself conservative, the majority of them are pro Israel. Of course they did, because that's how this shit works. One side criticizes the other side when they're doing a thing, and then they get into power and they do the exact same fucking thing. I've seen this my whole life. In my country, in the States. <clears throat> It's a brainwashing, like, I, you know, I, I think the, the, the flipping side is done on purpose, but um, I, I think, well, I think that's obvious to everyone. Um, but that's a good, that's an important point is that like a lot of these people 
um, when they what when they say what they mean, they're actually like they 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 half the things they're talking about they don't actually mean. Trump is anti-establishment. Grinds my gears. I know, right? Like this motherfucker has no tangible anything to be able to call himself anti-establishment and people are still like, Oh yeah. He's like, man, he's going to stick it to him. He's going to drain the swamp. He's going to blah, 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 bro. He expanded the swamp. This guy isn't, this dude isn't your guy. That's why I'm so confused about this. And I'm trying to figure it out. And I mean, I'm not going to lie. If one of these, one of these guys ever wants to come on and like correct the record, I'd be happy to do so. Cause I still don't get it. I don't get the fucking angle here. It doesn't, it's really crazy. Because it's like you're you're asking a base of people to accept a thing that their leader is saying is bad. That's the fundamental like like wrenching the gears here. That's like they're they're diametrically opposed. Like that's why it's so it, it's it is retarded. It's just a brainless like twenty four year old idea, like you said. Let, let's finish with uh, with pasta. He's he's a uh, you know, he's, 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 cooking. he's cooking. He's cooking. He's cooking. You know, he's uh, capitalists believe in choice. They believe that the Marxism takes away that choice and they don't want to be cornered into that kind of ideology. So how would you what, what, what? So you kind of agree to me, it's just a putting a label on what Christian Smalls did in the Staten Island. Right. It's finding common ground with people who, of different political persuasions and then uniting around those ideas but do you think is it is it the label craig the, called maga communism that's off-putting would you be if he just called it uh, workers unite or something oh my god thank you yeah yeah. yeah yes exactly thank you that's that's what yes. you guys should be doing yes drop the maga shit all together and yeah, just be like fuck? dude here's the thing you want to talk about common ground? You want to talk about uniting a lot of people? The overwhelming majority of human beings in any West, any country ever is the proletariat. Just start with that shit. You can market it as like, oh, doesn't your job suck? Doesn't it suck not being able to pay the rent? You'll instantly relate to everybody across the political aisle. Instantly. Regardless of how much these poor brainwashed fools simp for capitalism, they don't like the fact that they have to eat Mr. Noodles for the final week before rent is due so they can make rent and not get kicked out. Okay? They can relate to that. Everybody can. Everybody can relate to, you know, <clears throat> spending eight hours of your day, five days a week for your entire life working to make some fucking asshole rich. How, how draining that is. How, how uninspiring your job is. Everybody can relate to that. Take this MAGA communism thing, throw that out the window, just lean into the workers 200%. And that way, you, you're not limited. You can appeal to MAGA people because the majority of them are working class. You can appeal to Biden support, liberal supporters, Trudeau voters even, because the majority of them are working class. You can appeal to that giant base of motherfuckers that doesn't vote at all because they've given up on the system because they realized correctly that it threw them overboard 30 fucking years ago. Thank you, Carlin. Um, because they're also working class. You can bring that massive base of people who never vote because they don't believe it's ever going to do anything for them. You can bring those people back by just leaning 200% into the worker thing. That's what they should be doing. Because the second you do MAGA, you're going to push away the shit libs. And you're going to push away the MAGA people. You're going to get, like, just enough people to do absolutely fucking nothing. Like, I'm sorry. So, I don't know, man. I feel like, and I'm not saying, like, you know, it's over, it's done. This is my advice to you guys. Jackson, Oz, think about, like, just pivoting this. And leaning into the workers 200%. You're not dumb guys. You know, you're young. I was once too before I got these sweet grays in my beard. 
Uh, Absolutely. And that's what we should do. That's what we've been fighting for. I just believe this is going to be something that can be weaponized to further divide us. It's the labels. Labels separate us. Our human needs bring us together. And that's what we need to stay concentrated on. And I also just feel that it's, it doesn't exist. For most MAGA people, they're like, what are you talking about? However, I do believe that a discussion needs to be had about the things that we need. And I think that when people do call themselves a communist in the United States, uh, they are more kind of like all about the labor movement and labor rights. That's what it's all about. And that's what we need to concentrate on because if you just talk about labor and you keep the Marxism out of it and you keep the MAGA out of it, that's when we come together. As soon as you put those labels there, it separates us. Yeah. Jackson, why are you separating us? <laughs> With your vote. I think the I biggest thing we I need to watch this beforehand. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, this is going really weird because I give a spicy odd take and then they just have that take. Fuck. God damn it come together on and what MAGA and communists probably align on most is overcoming the deep state and the globalists. And globalism is unique right now. I mean, we're seeing that unfold in Europe. The globalists and the capitalists are fighting against each other. Uh, and we need to overcome. What the fuck does that mean? What do you mean? The are the the cap- yeah, they are the capitalists. Okay. The if you're talking about globalism, okay. Uh, what does that entail? Does it entail Klaus Schwab? Because the World Economic Forum is the largest consolidation of bourgeois power ever. I've said this a million times. Go to the World Economic Forum website. Go go to the partner section. It is every fucking corporation on earth. Okay? This is a co- – what do you think Davos is? Okay? It's, it's a just – ca- it's, a, it's a cult of personality. That's all it's it is. Just, it's just the capitalist, bro. That's the globalist. It's just capitalism. This is the end result. For someone who claims to be a Marxist – this was predicted by him 200 years ago. It's just capitalists. <laughs> Someone who that's claims it. to be a Marxist, yeah, that's a pretty uh, stupid uh, compare, uh, you know. It's a 24-year-old tw- take. It's is a 24-year-old right take. Now. I mean, we're seeing that unfold in Europe. The globalists and the capitalists are fighting against each other. Uh, and we need to overcome the globalists. And I think that... What you see them doing with the energy markets, with big agriculture, with big pharma, uh, with big tech are all things that we have common ground with MAGA on. And I think that rather than avoiding the difficult question of what Marxism and communism is, we should actually you know, lean into it and unite on those on those pr- common principles that we have. Despite hold different worldviews, we arrive on, at the same on, exact location. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, um, OK, like. Sorry, over the difficult question of what Marxism and communism is, collective ownership over the means of production. Done. It's not difficult. Read the fucking. It's so fucking simple that when I explain it to average everyday people, they are blown away at how simple the concept is. Okay, yes, reading capital is hard. It's hard as fuck. You got to do math. He. Carl ambushes you with math halfway through. It's like a boss fight in reading that book. Okay. But like the shit isn't hard. Okay. It's not the concept of the working class having agency and democracy over their labor is not a hard concept. Okay. Just explain it. Like, okay, you hate fascism. You hate authoritarianism, right? Do you like the fact that you show up to a job that you depend on to survive and you have absolutely no voice, you have no say in any of it, they're profiting off your labor, they're making money off you, and they're paying you just enough to get by? Um, you know, doesn't that kind of feel like a dictatorship? Kind of feel like something like feudalism, doesn't it? Like, just that. it's very easy to explain all of this shit. I don't know why you're saying it's hard. It's not hard. You can. Okay. All right. You just Google well, it. I don't know that the, 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 the term is a little rough. That's all. It is a rough term. <laughs> you know that, rough. right? It's poof. It hits you a couple different ways. It's, even Jimmy's not buying it, dude. Even no. Jimmy doesn't fucking buy this shit. Jimmy is the king. But that- Jimmy's the king of unite along class lines. And even he's like, Ooh, I don't, uh, Oh, that's, that's that's why it's a bit too much pepper right in the soup, my guy. Okay, so, so the one role that, that I will say that Jimmy Dore plays well, that I think is good, is that he makes it okay to speak about certain topics. 
So like, yes. he, was, he made it okay for people on the left to talk about COVID. Um, he made it okay for people on the left to start talking about, um, or at least like people on the right to be more sympathetic towards Palestine. He is a very right. Oh, I know, dude. I, I'm surprised. Some of these like prominent, like, like somewhat, some of these like more prominent conservative type, they're like 200% like, fuck you. Nope. We got to do something about this. This is a genocide. You guys are fucking. I didn't expect Jake Shields to turn like that, but now he's like 200% like, no, no, no. Fuck this. Fuck Israel. This is bullshit. This is insane. These people are dying. Like, this is, damn, this is the biggest bingo card of them all, if you will. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I think, I think Jimmy makes it like the, the Jimmy's purpose is to make things okay to talk about on like, you know, along class lines, basically. Yeah. It makes it okay for everybody to talk, not just a like clique of people who declare they're the authority. I don't know why that, I don't know. I don't know why it is. It is that way, but, but trending been trending for the past week. Yeah. But some of the comments are very, very negative. They're like, what are you talking about? When, I, I'm not saying overall. And, and once again, bringing overall, overall it's positive. I've seen some. Uh, well, first of all, a lot of uh, if, put Massive it on Getter hope. and let's see if you get the same response that you do on Twitter. And we'll see. Most of the MAGA people are hanging out in Getter. They've already left Twitter. So, you know, we'll see. Um, OK, so there it is. There's there's. Uh, we still have so that's our definition of MAGA communism. I still don't know what communism is. They say it's Marxism, but I don't think so. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I, can't you said that. I think Marx was oh, just no. didn't. I mean, again, I'm not. I've read very little, <laughs> but um, you haven't read Lenin, Jimmy. Come on. But oh, correct. Oh, so you guys probably have read Lenin. Lenin. So. It didn't Marx. My point. All he did was really give a critique of capitalism. He didn't really lay out a new economic system. He just kind of critiqued capitalism, so people understood what the f capitalism was. Right? Am I wrong? As well as as well as how we should view the world through the scientific lens of dialectic. My boy Pasta brought out the Lenin. He's he straight up just as Jimmy. He's like, yo, my boy, you never read Lenin. Dude, did Pasta just theory bro him? I think he so. got theory bro by Pasta. Oh That's shit! Crazy. No wonder he's not a host anymore. Bingo card as well, getting theory broed by Pasta. It's like what? You never read what is to be done? Oh my god! What a savage! That's so good. materialism and i think that beyond anything else has taught us that if we have these common goals then we should be uniting together on the common goals as a working class rather than fictitious party lines okay i just somehow you're going to get me in trouble jackson i don't know how but somehow you're going to wreck everything wait hold on i just hold on feel it. hold on hold but, on uh okay Are you running for president yet? trouble jack hold on this uh, this comment here from Sean uh, wins out of all of the comments right here. Um, Kevin Smith for the win. Kevin Smith for the win always. Uh, I caught that. Uh, Where do you see that? The last comment. That's from uh, Jan Saul and Bob Strike Back. And it's a reference to uh, Mallrats. Um, oh, yeah. I got you. Rats. I got you. Remember? Hey, you want a chocolate covered pretzel? <laughs> they have the in the the stink bomb, they the, baby. They have the the Weezer song Suzanne in there. Oh Remember yeah, they, that's where they first played it. Or like, dude, that that was a great movie. But yeah, it's a New Jersey guy. Yeah, New Jersey guy from Red Bank. Yeah, that was good shit. Ah. Uh. It's that, so that's tense. One way I might get you in trouble. Yeah. Pressuring you to run for president. I wish you were old enough because I would rather support you than me. But uh, <laughs> it's they're so vulnerable right now. <laughs> I, just I wish you were like, old enough. 
Why is this guy meaning the establishment, the Republicans and the Democrats for a candidate like me? And people are already getting ready to funnel progressive energy back into the Democratic Party. Like, oh, Nina Turner is going to run for president or Marianne Williamson is going to run inside the Democratic Party. How the fuck did that work out for Bernie Sanders the last two times? It doesn't work out. You become a cuck to the establishment and then you start doing evil all over the place, which is what they're doing. The, The squad and Bernie have been supporting fucking evil since Joe Biden got elected. And before that, when they supported the uh, the goddamn CARES Act. And uh, nobody even still knows what happened with the CARES Act. And uh, anyway, so, um, all right. Anything else you'd like to say about MAGA communism before we sign uh, ch- change subjects? Oh, I'd like to say that, you know, if you really are serious thinking about running for president, the Libertarian Party is really a party we need to be looking <laughs> at. Okay. Yeah, they Pasa, you just lost all of your points that you built up here. He built up five combo points. He was ready for the eviscerate, and then he fucking then just, he just fucking. He just hearthstoned. 